action. Today we are trying to understand the speed of sound in mineral oil. And so to do that, we have this apparatus here um, that is filled with mineral oil and it also has our uh, measuring device inside it that sends out a sound and then we'll receive that sound over a known distance and we can see that distance here on our oscilloscope. So we see that our sound is emitted here and after an amount of time then it's picked up by the receiving end. And so we can use that uh, change in time to see how, how long the, the sound took to travel from one end to the other. We want to do these tests at uh, all sorts of pressures and temperatures to get a better understanding of how that speed of sound changes in those environments. And so right now it is at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, but we have this pressure vessel simulator which we can use to alter the pressure inside of our apparatus here. And then using that we can take measurements at high pressures, getting pressure data. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be doing is the pressure will be going from zero up to 200 for our pressure rate. Atmos uh, 200 PSI for our uh, pressurized test. And then we will cool down our apparatus using liquid nitrogen and then do that same, do the same test, uh, do the same test where it's both at atmospheric pressure and 200 PSI um, as the pressure rises. So we'll get those as data rises. as the temperature rises. So we'll get that uh, pr pressure temperature data all the way up until it reaches room temperature again. Cool. Let's get started.